Hey guys, it's Ross. I'm getting a little hungry here, so bear with me. <laughs> we filmed this video once and it came out real weird. So um, <laughs> hopefully this one doesn't, but we're off to a great start as it is. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're planting some figs. And you can see there's some in the back here. We gotta get them in the ground before it gets dark. Um, what we're doing is because these trees that we're just now planting are so tall um, I mean, look, this tree is probably about three or four feet tall. Nah, three feet, something like that. This one's probably two and a half feet. So these trees, what's going to inevitably happen is that by planting them in the ground, let's fast forward to the winter time that's upcoming. They're going to get killed all the way to the base. So if they're going to die to the base, what's the point of leaving all this growth? So what I did was on my other tree here that we just planted, this is Blanche de Duce Cezanne. And Blanche de Duce Cezanne, we cut this all the way back to the base so that we can get a, a better structure down here rather than having a really long tree. And what I did was, and take this out of here for you. We already had filmed this, but. What we did was we scored the bark all the way down the side. Even on this side here, we took our pruning shears and did that. You can use a knife. And you can see how long this is. This is probably two feet of growth. Really thick cutting. This thing's not gonna desiccate even in the hot summer. So I can pretty much just stick this in here, bury as much of this as I can. And I would say, believe it or not, from like my finger here to the bottom is about 20 or so nodes. At every node, there's potential for roots. So we're gonna bury as many nodes as we can. We're gonna have a huge root system that's gonna develop from this tree. Just stick it in here as far as you can get it. Um, I'm keeping about four nodes above the soil. And I think that's plenty. Um, what we wanna do is really bury as much as we can. And this will root out. This is the old Italian man way of propagating figs. We did this, really we did this last year and we had two of them here we actually had LSU Tiger and Raspberry Latte. We showed you guys the progress, then we dug them up and showed you guys how easy this is, especially when you have a tree that's as thick, like the wood's as thick as this. You know, this is a really strong cutting. It's not too old either. It's probably two or three years old, that piece of wood. It's two years old, that piece of wood. So if that's two years old, it's not gonna be too old and it's not gonna take forever to root. It's really gonna be perfect. And that's gonna turn into a really large tree and we should be good. Now, why I'm doing this to all these trees that you see here, we got a tr another tree behind me, is one, simply because it's gonna die back anyway, we wanna change the form, but also we can then have more trees. And let's say I really want more of this, the Blanche de Duce Cezanne, this is that tree right here. I have a feeling that this one's gonna be really, really tasty and a big winner here so that by propagating this and then digging this up in the fall, I can then put this in a pot and have an another copy of it on the patio. Why waste this? In fact, I could even cut this back again. I could cut it in half and probably have two trees. But the bigger the cutting, the more energy, the bigger the tree will be come fall. Um, now, I wanna show you one other thing here is that this tree behind me is Neruciola de Elba. And uh, this one's gonna go on the ground as well, but this one is a bit different. And the reason it's different is because it has 10 Braba on it. And there's one down here, but then as I go up, they just get <laughs> crazy, crazy abundance. So I think what I'm gonna do with this one, because there's so many Braba, and I wanna eat figs. I don't wanna just grow them is that we're not gonna chop this one back. We're gonna let this one stay in the soil as is. We're gonna still bury it to the same height as the other one, right? We make the mound, we bury the base of it so that the base is protected by the soil, right? The, the base is not exposed to really freezing temperatures. So then if that's gonna be protected, the rest of it's still gonna grow. And then what's gonna happen next year likely this tree is going to die back. It's probably likely that this tree will die back anyway because it's from the island of Elba in Italy and Elba is a really warm place. 
So the point is, there are some circumstances where you would not want to do this, but in almost every scenario, this is going to like put you ahead of the game. This is something that's going to happen anyway here in my climate. Figs naturally like to grow as a bush, and it's just inevitable that these trees will turn into bushes, and that's kind of how we want to grow them here. Now, if I lived in a bit of a warmer place, let's say zone 8 or above, um, I would probably grow my trees as a single stem tree. I wouldn't grow them as a bush. And the reason for that is because a single stem tree, a fig tree anyway, is more productive than a multi-stem trunk. Uh, certainly noticed that in my containers. And it just makes more sense that all that energy has to be sent up through one trunk rather than six to eight. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I think it really works out in containers, especially smaller sized trees like these are in containers. They fruit a lot heavier. You know, it is what it is. So, and it's also more beautiful, I think, personally. So if you have a tree, and a fig tree, and you're in a warmer place, you're looking at my advice. This isn't always the advice that I would give somebody in a warmer place. So, you know, there it is. All right, so that was the video. It's a shame you guys didn't get to see the weird one, <laughs> but I'll, uh, I'll talk to you all soon. If you enjoyed this kind of video, let me know down in the comments, thumbs it up, subscribe. You know, Also, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We have all kinds of different content, kind of things like this that are be posted there. Also, there's the blog post on the website, so rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog. Check all that out. Definitely would appreciate it, and uh, catch you all soon, all right? Take care, guys.